welcome maths teachers uh, this video is about uh, Dasmos computation layer and we are going to focus on table and graph combination so as soon as a student is going to type uh, any expression in the table in row or column so the graph uh, shall appear and uh, we'll set some codes for graph and table and of course we'll set some codes to give immediate feedback so let's get started so you can see there is a graph and uh, for cubic function and a table which is actually showing function derivative gradient and equation of tangent so as soon as you enter the derivative of the function 3x square minus 2x minus 3 uh, a student can see the graph and uh, a student can analyze easily and find out the gradient by using x equals to 1 so because it is a table so we can substitute the value automatically it will be calculated so it's minus 2 and now if you type equation of tangent so that will appear on the graph so y equals to negative 2 times x because if you simplify that would be the equation of tangent and uh, we can even get the feedback if you press the feedback button so correct correct and correct so if a student entered something wrong uh, he or she will get the response it is not correct so let's get started to set up these codes so I'm gonna start with the blank page and uh, I'm gonna add two components graph and a table so table so and then we should actually label them so maybe you can say graph 2 or table 2 or 3 because I have already used graph 1 and table 1 so you can enter as many columns or rows as you want for example first I'm going to enter function fx f of x so I'm gonna take a quadratic so x square minus 5x uh, plus 2 yeah and then we can uh, here put t over dx of fx and leave the column the row, second row and then uh, gradient at a particular point so I'm using one particular point here gradient at x equals to 2 or you can even give a point so it's up to you so let's write a point 2 and minus 4 I have calculated this actually lies on the graph equation of tangent uh, I'm gonna use two uh, two boxes for this so for example equation of tangent and then simplified version because sometimes students cannot uh, figure out on a piece of a paper so they can work out and then enter and I'm gonna enter one more column to get the feedback for example the middle column is for students response and the third column is for feedback feedback I mean uh, whether the answer is correct or not so let's go to graph and enter that function x squared minus 5x plus 2 first of all so I'm, I'm using f of x equals to x squared minus 5x plus 2 and of course we can take a point 2 and minus 4 which is actually lies lying on the on the graph you can uh, label it and then we are going to consider two functions gx and hx gx is for the derivative and hx is for the equation of tangent so if you click on this slider you will be able to see the color so that you can change it so yeah I'm gonna get a green and black color so yeah I should delete these sliders because I'm gonna connect GX and HX in the computation layer with the table so you can uh, try to uh, remove the grid and set up the window for your graph so if it is done so it's okay and now we can actually uh, check with the computation layer so near the three dots you click on there and because fx 
gx or hx are functions so i'm going to use function g and uh, it's always uh, actually we have to use simple function now the location is table 2 dot cell content and remember the column and row so our first column first row was actually the function so student is going to enter in second and second another function f of x, uh, h and uh, simple function table 2 dot cell content in 4 because in 3 they are going to enter the gradient so in 4 2 we are going to take it 4 2 yeah so 4 2 is the location so always remember this simple function and then location so let's check we can see the preview and as soon as a student is entering the expression you should get the graph so just make sure you enter correct column and row so I'm going to use a second row and second column for derivative fourth row and a second column for the equation of tangent so look you can type 2x minus 5 and yes you get the feedback sorry not the feedback the graph gradient because we didn't connect it but fourth and second we connected with the equation of tangent so y equals to for example negative 1x x minus 2 minus 4 and then we can see the graph is there yeah there's a black graph black line and green line so this is actually possible because of the CL coding we have connected the table content with the graph I'm gonna show you again function G and H functions simple function then in the bracket in the parenthesis you have to enter the address the location where you are going to can enter so table 2 dot cell content 2 2 and then equation of tangent was entered in the fourth row second column that's why it is simple function table 2 dot cell content 4 2 make sure you care you do care about the parenthesis so now we have to work on the feedback so for that reason we have to click on the table CL and uh, it is actually cell content we are going to give them yes or no correct or wrong something so we are going to give cell content for 2 3 or 3 2 so you have to be careful so for example uh, what was the derivative of the function it was 2x minus 5 isn't it so I'm going to use uh, one variable f here which is actually 2x minus 5 under double quotation mark and then I'm going to connect that f with my cell content so cell content 2 3 where I want to give the feedback and I'm, I'm using when and otherwise condition so when this dot cell content means cell content at 2 3 okay this dot cell content 2 2 sorry because at 2 2 we are going to enter if that equation equals to 2x minus 5 so the feedback should be correct otherwise we can give the feedback keep trying similarly we can uh, focus on the second one just check so that it working or it's working or not look we didn't enter anything but it is showing keep trying so if it if we enter 2x minus 5 it is showing correct so that's a good way of giving immediate feedback to our students so they will know that uh, whatever they are going to use or enter in the equations is it correct or not so let's repeat for uh, cell content 3 3 when this dot cell numerical value we are going to use for gradient now and you know the gradient was negative 1 because 2 times 2 4 minus 5 is minus 1 so here I'm not using cell content I'm using cell numeric value because minus 1 is a numeric value so it's correct otherwise keep trying or whatever message you want to give to your students there is an alternative to this also cell suffix so that's also possible but let's take the, in this way cell content 5 3 because I'm not using I'm not giving come uh, any feedback on 4 2 because it won't be any simplified version so I want to give in the simplified version 
so when this dot this means the location you could put table 2 also so this dot cell content 53 so let's define first what should be the expression and the expression should be y equals to negative 1 times x minus 2 minus 4 so I'm entering everything so that we can simplify and then leave in the simplified version so if you simplify uh, you should get negative x plus 2 minus 4 which is actually negative x minus 2 so I'm going to use only the last version so negative x negative 2 and that is actually g so g is another variable for me so I'm saying cell content 5 3 when this dot cell content 5 3 equals to g uh, it is correct otherwise keep trying oh there is a mistake actually so we can't take 5 3 so we have to use at 5 2 so 5 2 because that's the middle middle column so if the content at middle column is g then it is correct otherwise not let's check so enter one by one 2x minus 5 correct gradient minus 1 correct equation of tangent so you could also put like that 2 times 2 minus 5 so that will be also correct equation of tangent in a normal way negative 1 times x minus 2 minus 4 this is for graph and in the next one I'm entering the simplified version so that it is correct and we get the feedback negative x negative 2 or positive 2 whatever it was so we can actually enter the only the simplified version that could be the reason for y so we could remove y so let's go back to computation layer of table and let's correct it so g equals to y equals to negative x minus 2 I'm removing y from there and yeah it should work now so negative x so you have to be careful about these because uh, uh, there are other methods this is one way easy way so we are just entering negative x negative 2 the simplified version and you get the feedback correct and uh, if you continue in the other way like we did previously you should get the feedback and you should get the graph so please give a try to use graph and table you can use in multiple ways I just gave you one example of uh, calculus derivatives and uh, even you can change colors like you can see here I'm using red color then blue color for my graph and then gradient green equation of tangent also green so these things are also possible and as I told you feedback can be given as the suffix and uh, using the button but anyways just use table and uh, graph so that would be good for you to try and hope you try thank you so much thank you so much and thanks for watching if you're confused watch previous tutorials or leave your comments thank you